Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bris, and today we got another redonkulous video for you. We're going to be building a PC inside of a wooden case that you can actually buy off of Amazon. We picked this thing up on Amazon, and uh, as you can tell, you have to build the case. So we're going to build it, and then throw some PC parts in there, and make a gaming PC out of it. Is it going to be any good? We don't know. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, our favorite online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, those Windows 10 licenses. Going to GVG Mall is as simple as clicking the link in the description down below and then going to the Windows 10 Pro licensing key, click and buy it now, adding code TB20 to check out and then you'll get 20% off and then you just type in that code to the actual Windows 10 activation bar and boom, you have Windows 10 activated. And fun fact, it'll actually work on Windows 11 Home and Pro also. Just make sure you buy the right Pro or Home key depending on which version you have. So if you're looking to build a new gaming PC or just get that gaming PC that you've been running unactivated for a long time, upgraded and ready for Windows 11, use the link in the description down below and use code TB20 at checkout to save money on your Windows 10 key and game purchase. Special thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? So this case comes in at a perfect $69 plus tax and it looks like it's just basically going to be a micro ATX wooden case that actually has a lot of uh, writing on it for instructions and whatnot side. It lets you basically know like what each panel is. It does actually have a clear panel. This is what our finished product should look like. We can load it up with fans as well and we did get some fans to put into it. So first item on the list is the Intel i5-10400F. This is a six core 12 threaded processor and 10th gen is really the best budget for dollar right now. So this just absolutely makes sense. Like 130 bucks, you really can't go wrong with it. And to cool that i5, which does come with a stock cooler, but we wanted to make it a little bit cooler because the last thing we want is for our wooden PC to catch on fire. This is the VTrue V5 that comes in white and it is ARGB, which we also have some fans that'll go with it that Matt will talk about here in a minute, but definitely way more than we need to cool this i5. And for the motherboard, we have an Asus Prime B560M AC. So I actually really like these boards. A big reason is because they come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in and they're not much more in terms of cost. And also it's a V560, so you could go up to 11 Gen i7 if you wanted to. And sticking with that white color scheme, we have this Team Group T-Force Delta and this is 3000 megahertz, 16 gigs, dual channel, everything we really need for this build because it's in a wooden case. And for the storage, we have this Sabrent Rocket Gen 3 NVMe SSD, and this is a one terabyte because, well, when you have a wooden PC, you gotta load a lot of games onto it. This graphics card is actually the graphics card we used when we did the 970 revisit video where we benchmarked in 2022 games, so check that video if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, 970, good card on the used market right now with all the prices being out of whack. We do recommend it, and yeah. It looks good. It's not white, but you know what? It's close enough. Now for the power supply, we have the good old EVGA 600BA, which is 600 watts, 80 plus bronze. A little bit overkill, don't really need 600 watts, but it was a really good price when I picked it up on Amazon. So you know what? Not gonna complain about having too much wattage. And uh, yeah, there's RGB fans over here, one second. Now I got way too many fans because I really only needed four, um, but you couldn't get that pack. They only sold three of these. So we got two, three packs. Oh, look at that. Uh, VTrue RGB white fans. I do believe you could put two on the bottom, two up front, one in the back. I think that's how it works. So there's gonna be one extra fan. Um, that's what we're working with, but we'll see when we actually build this thing. This is probably gonna be the most time consuming case build that we've ever done. So let's just do it. Thank you. 
All right, guys, now that we have this very unique PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about this wooden build, shall we? Now, we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Fortnite, Apex Legends, Forza Horizon 5, and Rainbow Six Siege. Now, first up in Fortnite, of course, the system is going to work absolutely flawlessly. On epic view distance, everything else on low, we got 100 plus FPS. This goes to show that that 10th gen Intel architecture is still very good for esports titles. Getting a locked 100 plus FPS, not even in performance mode, is really impressive. And that 970. 70 is a really good gem on the used market and as GB prices keep going down I expect those to approach more towards the $100 price range and at that price point it's still a no-brainer in 2022 because this thing wasn't even stressed at all on performance mode in Fortnite. Now the fans we did get for this system, the VTrue RGB fans, were running like full max load so it was a bit loud, but after that we ended up plugging it into the motherboard to get PWM control and it did quiet down, but the temperatures still were really solid. I mean it is just a wood case with a bunch of holes in it so there's really no reason why it wouldn't be pretty decent for airflow so yeah so far so good for this wooden PC case. Next up in Apex Legends at 1080p medium settings, we end up getting an average of 85 FPS. This is definitely a game where we start to see a GPU bottleneck. The 970 is a good card, but it's not gonna max out newer games at 100 plus FPS or have a high refresh rate gaming experience. And that blower style PNY card definitely runs a bit hot into the high 80s. So it might wanna make sure you avoid a blower style card if you're gonna build something like this. Definitely get one with two fans so you can have optimal cooling. Doesn't mean the card's not gonna work, but running a bit hot can can be a little bit concerning. Now the next game we decided to test was another game that pushed the 970 to its limits and that's Forza Horizon 5 on low settings at 1080p and we got an average of 74 FPS. Once again, it's possible to play AAA tiles with the 970 but it's not gonna max them out. You definitely wanna step up to something a little bit higher in like an RX 6600 if you're wanting to play these games on higher details. But as we wrap up the benchmark run, we have to take a look at Rainbow Six Siege, a game that will run perfectly on this build. And on 1080p high settings using the built-in benchmark, we got an average of 174 FPS. In recap, it was really simple to put this wooden PC together. I thought it was gonna be very complicated, like the acrylic PC we built a long time ago. That took like multiple hours for us to build, but it was very simple. The instructions were very good. One thing to note is some of the holes don't line up perfectly, but you can make it work if you screw it in carefully. Just be be very careful with some of the screws you could easily split the wood and make this thing an absolute mess but the fact that this is available on amazon with prime shipping makes me pretty excited that you can actually utilize it and i hope to see some of you guys out there do some builds with it uh be sure to share on twitter or instagram if you do and tag us at toasty bros tech or toasty bros so we can see some of those awesome builds or join our discord server at discord.gg slash toasty bros and post your pc in the setup showcase section and uh yeah we'll definitely keep an eye out for it but that wraps up the benchmarking section of today's video how to bring jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right, guys, so this PC obviously performed pretty well. I mean, you guys probably saw the specs and thought this is going to be a pretty nice mid-range slash low-end budget gaming PC. And on top of that, it has a great upgrade path. And of course, you guys are probably wondering about this case. So overall, we really liked it. There is some kind of odd things about it. Like the acrylic holes didn't line up like perfectly. So it's a little bit of like a, a bow in some spots. Um, the wood in some spots is kind of, you know, not perfectly fitting together, but all this stuff aside for 70 bucks, this is a really cool DIY case. And if you want to pick up any of the parts from today's video or this case for your next gaming PC, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and it will help us out. And yeah, it's pretty cool to put together. I was really thinking it was going to be a very complicated process to build, but it didn't take too long. If we were to do this again, we most certainly would zoom right through it. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.
And hey, not only can we build you a custom PC like this, but we can also just build you a plain Jane custom PC at our PC selling business, PCBros.tech. You can buy gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a bunch of other tech stuff. And if you use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout, you can save 2% on your purchase. So check out our website, buy PC from us. See you guys later, goodbye.